This is code.org using classes. Choose from the following. I'm going to do individual IDs. Alrighty. So IDs are like classes. However, you usually will target them just at one thing. So do this. Attribute single out one element. Yeah. So maybe you have one, maybe you have 10 H2 tags on a page, but just one of them, all of them are names of dogs and one of them's the name of your pet bird. So you want to make just that H2 tag yellow as opposed to all else. So you would use an ID for that. And I'll show you. Look at the image elements with the IMG ID notes tag. And notice the ID attribute. Look at the image element with, okay, so let's look for notes. Yep, right here. And what's it say? In style.css, look at the rule set with the pound sign is what we used to call it. Hashtag note selector. Notice how it uses a hashtag instead of a period. Add a new image into the paragraph page from the available files and give it its own style. Cool. So if I look at this line 12 right here, let me go to the style sheet, style.css, and there should be a hashtag in the word notes. Yep, there it is. And if you're not sure that's what's styling it, I could just, I don't know, delete this and refresh. Oh, well, it's going to stay there because the, okay, but it is. I could float it left. There we are. Okay. So that's what's styling it. They want us to add our own to a different item. Well, first, I'm going to be a little bit lazy, guys. I'm going to copy from line 43 to 48, highlighting all of this. Going to right click copy. And then I'm going to go down two lines and do right click paste. On a Mac, that's Command C, Command V. On a computer, uh, on a PC, that's Control V, Control C. So hashtag notes. Um, I might call this hashtag uh, woodwind. So I'm going to say wind. I'm bored. Okay. And then float, right? That's fine. I want to make these bigger when we do style them. Background color. I don't need a background color on these. And box shadow. That sounds cool. I'm also going to do a border uh, solid. Okay. That's what I'll add. Now, to get this working, I need to head to the index.html file and my image tag, like they did up here on line 12, ID notes. I'm going to name my image tag before src, do id equals wind is what I called mine. Make sure to have quotes around whatever you name your id and a space. Put uh, if it doesn't show right away, refresh and save. Cool. And now, free play. So, this is where we get to use everything we just learned and have fun with it. I'll leave this up to your imagination. Use classes and IDs. Give them a shot.